Her slip on the ice left more than a bruise. Like if I touch the stove, I can tell that it's hot or like if I cut myself, I can tell. And like before it wasn't like that. Like In February of 2018, SDSU student Emily Zemer was on her way back to her dorm carrying a flower arrangement she made for class. She slipped on an icy path, taking the glass vase down with her. And I kind of fell forward and the vase broke into my hand and I cut five tendons and seven nerves. Zemer was in shock and had no idea how serious the injury actually was. Even in the ER, like I hadn't called my mom yet and I was like kind of looked at the nurse. I was like, should I call my mom? And she's like, yeah, you need to call your mom. <laughs> These white uh, structures are the tendons uh, that she cut. Uh, she cut uh, basically right across here. Dr. David Jones says it can take nerves up to a year and sometimes longer to fully heal. It happened to Zemer's dominant hand, which made everyday jobs difficult. They told me a lot, like I wouldn't, like I was never gonna have full function. I was never gonna have this much, like use of my hand. And for a long time, I like didn't. Emily underwent two surgeries and attended occupational therapy for about five months to regain the range of motion back in her hand. After Zemer's first surgery, doctors discovered pieces of glass lodged inside her hand. I remember they told me right away after my surgery, like the surgery is really important, and yeah, like you're not without having the surgery, your hand's not going to be better. But without doing the therapy, the surgery is not going to mean anything. And basically, we're just scraping that scar site. Occupational therapist Leslie Cleveringa specializes in hand therapy and says Zemer's injury is close to being the worst she's ever seen. She pretty much nicked just about everything, um, soft tissue wise that you have under there so um, just kind of you know short of the, uh, the the arteries and you know things like that too. She says Zemer's dedication to therapy is one of the reasons her recovery has gone so well. Patients um, can usually make or break their <laughs> their their outcomes. Since completing her therapy Zemer is thankful to be able to do even the simplest of jobs. I always had bad handwriting and it's still it's worse now but like I can still write and you can read it. With HealthBeat I'm Sophie Heineman. Head Zemer hopes to become an ag teacher in the future and is thankful her injury will not hold her back. Wow.